Sit back, relax, you're in the Cinema Lounge. So this is our pre-podcast warm-up, also known as the Cinema Lounge. Um, I gotta talk about my honorable mentions. I watched a couple of films. Uh, one I watched with James a long time ago, which that'll be last, because that's like the craziest movie I've ever seen in my life. But I have to do a little backup here with one of them um we did a episode all about uh movies based tv shows based on films and matt james and i were watching uh three shows and we saw a common theme in two of them where there was a bulldozer and it was used for killing it was a killdozer in a sense so i was researching for this episode and i realized there's a a book novel short story called Kill Dozer, and it actually was ad- adapted into a TV movie in 1974. And I'm like, are you serious? There's a film called Kill Dozer? I gotta watch this. Halloween night, I watch it, and it involves aliens. Huh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this is perfect. Think of it as a precursor to Maximum Overdrive. Oh, that kind of that kind of alien force. Um, basically, the plot is that, and it's the simplest plot you can think of because all of a sudden you're in space, meteorite falls to Earth on a little African island with uh, co- construction workers working on something, and then it crash lands, and later on it just has this blue hue going on. It's like there's like an alien force inside of it. So the construction workers are working, and all of a sudden, uh, they're bulldozing stuff around. All of a sudden, they hit the meteorite, and that blue force goes inside the bulldozer, and it becomes a killdozer. And it starts killing people off. Basically, the whole movie. Gee, how do you destroy a killdozer? With Robocop, of course. Yes. That, or a bu- that or a bunch of Dalmatians. <laughs> Yes. Robocop and Dalmatian, somebody make this a a series. No, better yet, 101 Robocop Dalmatians. Robomations. Oh, man. So, and honest, honestly, I was laying in bed as I was watching this film, and I fell asleep in the middle of it. But it was enjoying as I was watching it. So I woke up, I wake up in the end of it and I see how they kill it. And it's weird, like how I must have to rewatch it again because I was like, wait, how did they come to this conclusion? So they have a trap set up for the killdozer to roll on. And they have a, it's like electrical shock trap. They shock it to death. I was like, wait a minute. How do you shock an alien force out of a killdozer? What? So this is like... So this would be considered, yeah, Scooby-Doo or Looney Tunes logic? It's something like that, because I was like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> which, which leads me into the next film I watched. James introduced me to this film, because my taste... Actually, before you do, I just realized something. Like, if this is more of a Scooby-Doo thing, like, if Killdozer was more of a Scooby-Doo thing, it's like, now let's see who the <laughs> Killdozer really is. <laughs> It's old man Mater. I would have done it too if it hadn't been for you, Marilyn Cage and that dumb dog. Dang gum. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just sorry. I just had to. I know you had to. Oh my God, that's fucking hilarious. Uh, oh man. The ghost but... that made me do it. Yeah. <laughs> Get her done. Me and my queen had a deal. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you want to check out Killdozer, it's actually on YouTube. That's how I found it. You just type in Killdozer 1974. It's a TV movie. It's only an hour and a half long. It's actually pretty interesting to watch. Um, so James comes up to me one day because I my taste is usually bad. So so bad it's good films and it's crazy bad shit, crazy movies. James comes up to me like, hey, I have a film. You, you want to watch it? Uh, sure, what is it? And it's just like, 
it's a Spanish film. It gave me the Spanish title. I was like, what is the Spanish title? The English title was called The Killer Tongue or Killer Tongue. I'm thinking, mm-hmm. what, what the hell is a kill, Killer Tongue? Okay, so I was watching it with James, and what did I watch? My mind just went uh, blank. Yes. My, it, this is the first time ever that I went crazy over this film. This film just wiped my mind clean. Like, what did I fucking watch? Okay. It's a bad shit crazy movie. So basically, just like Killdozer, sort of, there's this outside uh, outer space force that comes to Earth, crash lands on Earth. That's actually basically what most alien movies are. They crash land on Earth. I don't know why. Couldn't land or anything like that. Mm-hmm. It, the film starts out actually as like a like a bank robbery film. It kind of think reminds me of like a Tarantino kind of thing. Like, um... Bunny, it's sort of a Bunny and Clyde story going with this, uh, with this, with this, two lovers that that rob from a bank, and the girl is waiting for the guy to get out of prison. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, Sorry. it's okay. You can actually try to fill in the blanks because I might miss some important stuff in the film. Um, so. They somehow got trying to reach way back because I totally blanked it out. Uh, eventually, this uh, force do- doesn't it like it? It breaks off from the meteorite. Chunks of it break off from the meteorite as a as the meteorite lands, and uh, for some reason they fly they fly over and land in the soup of the girl who's waiting for her husband to get out. Yep. And okay. Not... And her and the food and her dog's food. And, they're, and, they're... and you get the next part. Oh yeah. So there, it's the chick, and she's got like what is it? Three poodles. She's got three four. poodles. Four poodles. Yeah. So, the alien force is in the soup. They eat the soup. Um, the dogs turn into these homosexual gay men, like act like dogs. Oh my god. Drag queens. Drag queens. They completely drag it up. And and by the way, as a bit of irony, I'd like to point out that this movie was produced by the Noel Gay Motion Picture Company. That is somebody's last name. Oh my god. So there literally is a Mr. Gay out there? There is a Mr. Gay who produced this. <laughs> and I was like... What? <laughs> okay, Okay, without without, you know, with without har- harboring any resentment towards anyone's sexual preference or anything like that, what outer space drag queens? What's the connection? Is there a movie called Drag Queens from Outer Space? I mean, that sounds like something that's capable of happening. There must be. There's gotta uh-huh. be. And and this. This film does feature, like, uh, a couple, a few, a few, three, like, uh, cult film icons from different horror films. You have, of course, a running theme, which, a running theme I have when watching these films, uh, Robert England is in this film. He plays a, a ruthless, badass security guard at, um, oh, a prison warden at a, uh, prison, of course where the boyfriend's at from the beginning of the film. There's a couple of other horror icons in the film that I don't remember. But Robert Engle just follows me around for no good reason in these films. Yeah, like, that's what I'm noticing. It's like, why do you always pick up... I don't like, know. Why does... No, why does Robert England always find himself in, he, in these messed up movies? I know, right? I mean, everywhere I go, it's like, why are you in these films I watch? It's like, what the fuck? Um, why are apparently you, also Doug why are Bradley you in a movie with movie. Gene Simmons as a oh yeah Doug Bradley yeah Doug Bradley yeah, that's, Doug that's, Bradley that's the other one yep um I can't remember there was, who was he there played. The, the lead female the, the lead female was from a, a previous horror movie who uh when she eats the soup Nikki, she, there's she, Nikita there's Spawn she uh I, I'm so, trying to figure out 
So when she eats the soup, she actually turns into this. She. Leather clad hooker looking. Yeah, she's like got like this the... goth looking chick kind of thing, and and of course her tongue is the cat of tongue. It it actually you know it... kills it kills and it talks. And it talks. If you if you watch, so she kind of has if, this if you alien watch my tongue rec- going off. Yeah, it's an alien tongue. Mm-hmm. It's an alien. No, tongue. like literally, like if, from yeah. Alien. So... If you watch the, if you watch my recent Halloween special, Project Halloween, you've already seen a clip from this movie with a, a woman sticking her her long tongue into the back of a chicken and making it explode. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I remember that. I was like, "Oh, you did, you little rascal." But this film is just batshit oh, crazy. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it is messed up. It is, and th- and there's a couple of sexual scenes with the tongue and the the female, so a little raunchy there. Uh, uh, uh. So, and I shoot you not. This film is still has gone. <laughs> This film is rare. Good luck finding it, because I can't find a copy of it. Ever since I got rid of it on my computer for some some reason. But if you ever find a copy of it, you watch the shit out of it, because it's going to blow your mind. Oh, my God. Hello, Brad Jones. Have I got a movie for you? (laughs) (laughs) Either that or Diamanda Hart. Okay. Either one, it sounds like something that would go right up their alley. Okay. Oh my god. So listen. And, uh, and that, there's like a sex scene in it then? It's. it's there's sexy scenes in it, yes. There's sexy scenes, but it's not like a full on. It's. It's a lot of going downtown kind of thing. So with, it's like killer. Although, would you consider kind of deal? Because the the tongue kind of. Although if they. Although if they are doing it, would it still be considered sex, or would it be considered masturbation? It's because it is her tongue technically. Didn't didn't they actually have? It it sex? is a sentient being on its own. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They did. That's the right. tongue went down on her. Yeah, okay, I was just wondering if they actually did it, because they, they did it in the uh, film, and it's just... I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Ugh! It broke me. The film broke you me. You know... <laughs> oh, God, really? It, it broke me after after I watched it. I was like, what the fuck did I watch? I didn't even go into what else Dude. happened because it's like, why reveal everything? Because it's just that batshit crazy. I mean, it's a it's a Spanish film, but it's mm. it's made by a Spanish director. It's a Spanish shot film. in English. It's shot in English, so it's like this man. I mean, it's like where, where did the script come from? Where did where, that, 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 there must be a mistranslation tr- somewhere in order to come out with this. It, oh my god. Okay. Uh, actually, my favorite scene from the film... Uh, it, or, or one of my favorite scenes from the film... Uh, the meteorite does come into play. So when they... You know, people discover the meteorite. Mm-hmm. For some reason, there's a... For some reason, at one point, there's a nun uh, that decides to have sex on a on a bed in front of the meteorite, and uh, <laughs> yeah. So the look on your faces right now a is nun? like, "What's wrong with this movie?" Is she's a young hot how, nun? How? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's um, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've got a. Is there and, an alternate uh, title for this movie? No. Is it like um, die lingual maybe? That'd be better than killer tongue, I think. Better tongue in cheek. Die lingual? Well, it's... no. 
Get it? Oh, that I get like it. Die. That would sound like... Die. I, D-I-E. Lingo. Yeah. Clever. Yeah. High five. Like kill. A, it's like, it's a, it sounds like something that would most likely happen like a horror movie in Quebec or something. Actually, my the favorite scene that I would there were the new favorite scene other than the other than the chicken, um, of course, was uh, a man. It, it seems to be implied that this this uh, this meteorite is pulsating sexual energy. It doesn't actually say that, but anybody who comes close to it immediately starts becoming hornier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. have a scene which. We have a scene in which uh, there's a guy, there's a guy, cut walks up to the meteorite and pees on it. Yeah. And as he's peeing, we see this glowing light happening, this this synth sound going, and he's like, "Wow, what a boner! What a boner!" What? And then all of a sudden. <laughs> And then all of a sudden he explodes. <laughs> and ex- oh he had like a dynamite boner, like literally. He had a dynamite boner. <laughs> you see why he's <laughs> so. Broke me? so like that. By the way, I just checked. Apparently, there is an alternate title. Apparently, in Japan. The in Eng- when you translate the Japanese title, it's called Killer Queen. I just I actually did that. She's a killer queen, a dynamite queen, with a laser beam, guaranteed to blow queen. your mind anytime. anytime. Oh my I- <laughs> Well then, I. And Matt, I, yeah. uh, I, uh, I haven't found the movie Drag Queens from Outer Space, but I, you just reminded me of another title, title, so horrible, I can't even say it. I'm just gonna drop it into the box oh, here. Oh God. Oh, that's the link to the IMDb site. Oh my god. Oh. I think I've heard did, of this as well. <laughs> did Cinema Snob review this one? No, I think it's. I feel like. I think it's D- D- Amanda Hagen. I think it's her. Yeah. Someone did this one I, before. I don't, yeah. Maybe I, Cinema I Snob touched this one. Uh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and that is some. Wow. And that's some crazy... Uh-huh. Actually, crazy I just films. realized. I just realized. There is I don't a know, movie with a drag Sylvie? queen from outer space. <laughs> you looked like you were about to say something. Sorry? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> no. Okay, no, okay. but... I just realized there is a movie with a, tra- with a trans... With a... Yeah, with a drag queen from outer space. Well, I don't know if you would technically... Consider him a drag queen. Doctor Frankenfurther, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, Makes sense? Ooh, right. yeah. yeah, that's. Wow. I just missed yes. that. <laughs> wow, yeah, I just from the tra- okay. you know, from the okay, planet okay, Transylvania. Okay, well, I guess he is gay. James? Yeah. James, I just um, I just noticed something. Apparently. In the link that you showed us about the title, apparently, I just noticed it says, people who like this also like an animated classic, Simba the King Lion. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) Do they now? (laughs) That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's... That's... That's good. Double feature. I've, uh, I've, Holy uh, crap! This and I just a, found this. And I this okay. Is a show that I've this that is a show that I've actually seen. It's pretty terrible, but it's 
it, it's like it has something it has so much potential to be its own thing but they just decided to screw it up and be it a rip off sorry i just need to show you this title i just discovered it because it's also in the section of people who like this i, I think i could say it i killed yeah. my lesbian wife her on a meat hook, and now I have th a three-picture deal at Disney. What? <laughs> why? Why, 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 why? Oh, my God. This can't be real. <laughs> Wait, can I just... That can't be real. Also, also known as Escape from Tomorrow. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. Touché. It's the precursor. Touche. It's the prequel. Touche, man. That's Mike. <laughs> An extra only shot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, I should probably go on with my honorable mention. What? What you... Yes, we should move on. Okay, tell me what you originally, want, originally wanted to talk about on the podcast that you would like to me? mention briefly. Now, just briefly say... This is just a little brief. Well, technically, the movie as it is now, there are no aliens in it. It mostly goes into the theme of outer space. What I am talking, of course, is Pixar's WALL-E. Now, like, it's, it's set in the future, it's set in outer space, but... There's only, like, you know, there's only robots and fat people. But the reason why I put it in the honorable mention is because, um, originally, there was a little, there was a little difference that could have changed the entire idea of the movie. Instead of having really fat people, there would have been flubber-like aliens. And they went far, and what's actually really interesting is that they really went far into it. Like, they did a lot of animation tests with the, um, with the flubber aliens. Um, like, they already, like, they did a lot of concepts. But then, like, as production would move on, like, they slowly but surely turned them into humans. Like, they spoke, like, they started out by speaking English, and then they gave them fingers, and then eventually just turned them into humans altogether. Now, the reason why I just want to mention this is because, like, when you think about it, if you switch the humans into, into like, these flubber aliens, it would have changed the movie, like, entirely. Because as we know, like, Wally has this entire kind of a subliminal message on consumerism and all that stuff. Like, imagine you just take that out and just replace it with colonialism or something like that, because originally... With the alien, with the uh, flubber aliens, they had like a king and a queen and stuff like that, and their own entire civilization. It would have been a, a completely different movie altogether. Maybe they would have kept the the simple love story between uh, Wally and Eve, but still, like just that small change would make would make a, an entire different movie. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to mention. Okay, interesting. Interesting I yeah. mention. It's something for you guys to think about. Not as crazy as freaking Killer Chung, but yeah. Good. Okay. Something to leave off and think about. Or actually, James, I just realized you, you, the link that you send us, why didn't you mention that as an honorable, or are you going to talk about that no. movie? No. No, 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 no. no. You, I, I only you watched it. The aliens. <laughs> I, 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 I tried, I tried watching that title once. I mean, it, it, the, 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 the title of it is not funny. The, the, um, the, the subject matter, the, the plot of the film is, is they, they, homosexual aliens come from outer space to uh to to make uh, uh to make um uh to make earthlings and all male homosexual society completely free of female oppression how do you make sounds this like funny uh, wow that sounds and like the, the reverse and they of succeed 
I I I just don't I just don't see it, it being funny. Uh, I was watching the movie and I I just got bored by it. It's not interesting or funny, so no. Um, as an honorable mention, though, you can you I have nothing, but you can you can. Uh, <laughs> you just did it. <laughs> but I but oh, well, I fell for my trap then. But I did, I will say that I just found I killed my lesbian wife, hung her on a meat hook, and now I have a three-picture deal on YouTube. Oh, my God. On YouTube? On YouTube. So it does exist. Oh, it, it, it exists. Oh, this exists. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. I gotta watch I... that. I think it's only 16 minutes long, so... Yeah. And we'll watch it's... it after the podcast. It's <laughs> Ben Affleck's directorial debut. Come again? It Ben Affleck. Okay, read that there. Yes. Wait a what? Hold on. A Wait second. a minute. Really? Yes. Bullshit. Ben. Ben, ben Affleck. Affleck. Oh my God. That's why I did. That's why I didn't think it was real. Because when I read that, I was like, no way, that's real with a title like that and Ben Affleck as the director. But oh, shit. God dang. Huh. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh my gosh. That is. It's real. I'm looking at it. Study. And it's a college project. It's Ben Affleck's college pro- project. Wow. Now you learn something new. You what? found out where Ben Affleck's directing debut came from. This picture, which... So, I think I gotta say this. From the same man that brought us Argo, he started out with, I killed my lesbian wife, hung her on a meat hook, and now have a three-picture deal at Disney. I can't believe that just came out of my mouth. <laughs> it's what? it's it's lower than Peter Jackson starting out with bad taste. Yeah, I can, I can at imagine. At least bad taste is enjoyable. I can imagine. Anyways, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the real podcast, not the mini episode of Cinema Challenge. <clears throat> Yay, get potatoes. Meet the potatoes. This was just your appetizers for the viewers up there. Little mm. tease. Mm. Little <laughs> tease. Okay. Real podcast. Would you call what James offer an appetizer? <laughs> uh. Nipples it. <laughs> Better open up them zipples. <laughs> Would you like to have a sucker with my paper? Good one. Okay. Oh my god. 